Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we're gonna learn how to add some animations to our React or a Next.js website. So we're gonna create something like this. If I refresh this page, so we have some animations here. And if we scroll down, so we can see some more animations. And if we scroll down more, so we see some more animations. So we're gonna create something like this. So if I close this one, so I have already created a sample uh, web page. So I suppose uh, you have already something like this so, because we're gonna just focus on the animations. So we start with this section with this text. So for this, we can create simple tailwind animations. So to do that, we go to the Tailwind config.js file. Here we have to define our keyframe rules. So we can add a keyframes object here. We can give a name and then add some properties. So we have created a keyframe here. What it will do from the start of animations, we want our element to be hidden. So we have opacity zero and we want our element to the left. So we have added a margin. So it will be 600 minus 600 pixels. At the complete, when the animation is completed, so we want our element to be visible so we have opacity one and margin left is zero so it will be on its uh, normal position which we have defined in our uh, css we can create another one so we can give it a name slide left so we can uh, actually copy and Paste. So we, ju we just have to change the margin property here. Yes. Then we have to define our animation object which will create our utility classes for Tailwind CSS. So we can slide right, we can use the keyframe which we have created above. Slide right, duration will be one second and the type will be is one. So we can add the second one. left now we can use this utility class in our Tailwind CSS so if we go to our index file so we simply you see we have here slide right and animate slide left so 
we go there and check so you see it's working here so we have applied animations to this section so we move to the next since we want our elements to be animated when they are in the viewport when they are visible so for that we can use an npm package which is called react intersection observer so we can i have already installed so we can use this one so we move to the next section it's called container inside this container so i have rendered the code component so we go to the code component here so i have already imported the use in view so we can use first we have to destructure this hook so we can get ref and in view property here from use in view hook so next we have to apply some style to the container div here we can define style so transform so if our element is in viewport then we don't want anything we just give none but if it's not in viewport then we want it to move a little bit uh, to the bottom uh, on y-axis so we can give it translate by we can say 200 pixels and then we can hide it at initial state uh, sorry when it's not in the viewport so if it's in the viewport then it will be visible otherwise it's hidden sorry opacity yes Finally, we can define transition. So we want all in the duration we want, say, 0.7 seconds, and the type will be is one, and the delay we can say 0.5 seconds. Yes, and we also have to give it to ref. So, if we go to our website, so if I refresh this one, so it's not working, so we have to check. There is some mistake. Using view. Style. I think we are missing parentheses here. Yes, no, it's working. And this one also working. So if we refresh again, 
Yeah. But for this section, we want that each code animate after some delay. So they don't animate at once, but uh, one by one. So we can add some delay between them. So for this purpose, we can, so we actually have to add some delay here, which is different for F every chord. So for this purpose, we can use our index. Uh, we want it for the second section, so we can pass a value here. Let's see. So we can access this value here. So we have to change this to so we say if there is non value then the delay will be non multiplied we can say 0 0.30 and we have to add s as a string so we can add but if we don't have any num value applied so we can simply have 0 0.5 second so this this is for the first section so if we don't pass any num value then it's gonna use this one otherwise it will be different for every code so if we go to our code and refresh sorry our website so you see they are animating one by one nice the last one we have this title text so we can we have the title inside the container so we go to the container and we import use in view from react intersection observer actually we can copy this one this one but for this we don't need this one this time we want to place our elements to the x-axis so it will be if we want them to animate from left to right then we have to give a minus negative value uh, if one if we want to animate them from right to left so we can give a positive value so if we go to our website and check not working can check again so we have to check what's wrong here so I think yeah unnecessary double quotes here yeah they are working now and one more thing if we want our elements to be animated only once so we can control them 
by passing an object. So we can say trigger once true. So if we scroll down and up and down again, so you see. Uh -huh, we have to apply for this so, uh, to the cord also so we can pause it here also trigger once true so if we refresh our page animation animation if we scroll down again so no animations so there is one more thing i want to explain if we want our elements to be animated once a certain percentage of the element is inside the viewport so we can Cause another property here it's called threshold so we can give a number like 0 0.2 so it represents 20 percent so now our elements will be animated when they are 20 percent inside the viewport so you see So that's it. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you.